Want to help the channel? Go to shopclownfish.com where you can check out official Clownfish TV merchandise and our brand new shop. It helps us out. Also, check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash clownfish TV for more art and gaming live streams that we don't do on YouTube. We want to see you over there as well. Now let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with a very fired up Geeky Sparkle. Hello. And it's time for a word from your internet mother. It is. Um, so we'll explain what's going on first and then I will, I will have words. As I understand it, a young artist on Twitter was posting redesigns of original. Or, or their, yeah, their versions of original She-Ra. Original She-Ra from the 1980s. You know, the one that's been around 35 years, not the one that's been around two. Right. The one that's 35 years that has way more fans and is much more well known, that one. Right. And she was posting some uh, pretty innocuous redesigns. And of course, Twitter being Twitter and cartoon Twitter being cartoon Twitter. And we've dealt with these people ourselves on many occasions. Uh, they did not take kindly to these redesigns because it was not Noelle Stevenson's show. Right. And they're mad because they're being whitewashed. Uh, no, these were the original characters. And she stressed that repeatedly. She did, but um, it doesn't matter. It yes. doesn't matter. So apparently some of the people were like saying, um, well, I hope the artist is not okay. And all this other stuff. Well, it's the same, you know, pieces of trash you'd expect it to be from. These are the same people that anytime you mention She-Ra at all, they will, they will pour through your videos. They'll pour through your tweets. Uh, they are rabid. I think I could just stop there. They're rabid, but they are, uh, you know, very uh, passionate, I guess. Noelle Stevenson. But, but you're, they're allowed to be. But yes. original fans are not allowed to be passionate about anything. Because if you like the original better, there's obviously something wrong with you. Which is a load of shit. Because we said repeatedly, hey, if you like the new show, that's fine. You're allowed to like it. If you don't like the new show, that's fine. You don't have to like it. This artist, I think, actually seemed to like the show I, from what I saw. She just wanted to do redesigns of the original characters. Now, this doesn't surprise me at all because we've been following this for a number of years. We've been following other instances where I'm going to say it like, you know, we're huge animation fans. Uh, we love, you know, uh, I love adult animation. We watch anime together. We watch a lot of animated series. We follow the animation industry. And I'm going to I'm going to say it. Cartoon fans are probably the most toxic, mm -hmm. uh, the most toxic fan base out there. Now, obviously the bullies, right? They act like they're I, I don't want to insult like junior high school kids, but they act like junior high, but worse. Um, they are the most childish, and for whatever reason, they're obsessed with stupid prom. I, I don't get that. Maybe they miss theirs. I, I don't know. But again, this isn't just a, a blanket statement like everybody. But I'm just saying, like, you know, when when the media talks about toxic Star Wars fandom or toxic gamers or toxic whatever, I'm like, they completely turn a blind eye to all of the toxic cartoon fans who are sending death threats to showrunners and people who work on shows. They're wishing harm on children. Wishing harm on children, putting needles in cookies. I mean, these are these are things that actually have happened. Uh, there were people who worked on Steven Universe that, that got harassed off of Steven Universe, but you never really hear about it because that particular fandom uh, lives on Tumblr, lived on Tumblr. Right. And they're not the, the uh, I guess the typical middle-aged male demographic that the Star Wars fans and the gamers are supposedly. Well, supposed, they never supposedly. were that demographic. They like to they like to throw that no, around. No, no, no. I'm saying that that's true. the narrative, though. The narrative is middle-aged men or comic book fans and Star Wars fans and gamers. Uh, you know, but they're not paying any attention to the the legit toxic cartoon fans. Right. And I'm sorry. Here. I'm sorry. You know what? You can go and draw your fan art of, you know, the underage girls getting it on or whatever. And that's fine. I never say a word when I see your fan art. I never say anything. You know, I always say you're allowed to like the show. I personally don't like it. I watched it before I get to people. Well, if you watched it, did watch it. No, thank you. Um, but you can't, you don't get this, you don't get to turn around and, and boldly and harass people for doing fan art of the original, because I don't care what you think about your little two year old fanfic. It's only two years, it's been around two years. She-Ra has been around for 35 flipping years. It's been kept around by the fan base for, for three decades, three and a half decades. 
And I'm sorry that you don't like those designs and you don't like that show. You don't have to like that show, nor do you have to like those designs. But you do have to respect people who, who have different opinions than you if you expect people to respect your opinion on the new show. Because this girl's just drawing fan art of, of characters from the original show. It had nothing to do with your show. This Your show is only here because this show existed. But you're acting like, a, like I said, women especially are the bitchiest, cattiest, biggest divas you'll ever find. I'm just telling you. And I just, I've grown up around women. I have daughters. I, I teach school. I, I'm, they, they're just catty. And, and on social media, they're even worse. Yep, because they can hide behind the keyboard. She got Paris the color. No, actually, Ray, she's not. She was white. I'm sorry if you don't like it. She's not in this picture, but if you go yeah, to the other thing, the she was. And for 35 years, she's only been a person of color for two. I'm sorry if you don't like that, but that's the way it is. And they were specifically saying the old She-Ra. Yeah, there's the original Mista. That's not the, the, there's the new one. Now, this one on, on the left, 35 years it's been around. The one on the right, too. Yeah, now here's what's going to happen. Uh, Mattel is going to have a hell of a situation. If they ever decide to re-reboot She-Ra and go back to the original 1980s mm -hmm. show or designs or, or incorporate more of that and kind of, you know, step over Noelle Stevenson's version... Cartoon Twitter is going to have a fucking... I really up. don't give a shit what Cartoon Twitter says anymore. I'm, You know what? They are tiny, itty bitty, pretty much doesn't, doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, blip in the real world. No one cares what you think on Twitter. And then they're, they're mad about Perfuma. Okay, go back to the thing on... You had, I had put BuzzFeed with the, with the characters. Go down a little more. Perfuma. They're mad because she made Perfuma look white too. Well, I'm sorry. That was what Perfuma looked like. Perfuma's on the original white. series. Perfume is white in the new one too. She just has a tan. I know. Oh, but you know, you're not allowed to have tans. If you're if you're an artist and you draw yourself a tan, you're in trouble for giving yourself for for uh, black facing yourself. Yeah, I was gonna talk about that because cartoon Twitter, art Twitter, is really hyper ridiculously. So they black faced. Uh, they black faced uh, uh, Perfuma because she looks like she's a tan. You're not allowed to have tans. Yeah, that's right. They, that's, um, that's apparent. That that is literally literally blackface it's summertime so all of you need to stay in the house if you tan because if you get a tan then you're just clearly um abusing that your ability to tan making people think that you're that you're not who you are <laughs> um that's how stupid this is getting um i mean they're mad because of, uh, because of catra well catra didn't have two color eyes in the original she was also an adult woman you know i mean just get over yourself and what's going on is now a, a kid is getting bullied because she didn't draw it the way they, they wanted it for the new show, but she specifically said, I was drawing the original show. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this is, look, this is, yeah, she looks a little bit white, don't you think? I, no, yeah. no, she looks about right, because the original show, she was white, and these are based on the original show. Yeah, I, I look, don't change your stuff. Uh, mad diet, don't change your stuff because these people don't don't matter. They, they don't matter. They, they don't and the matter. end of the day, they, they have they have they're just on Twitter screening because they, they feel like they have power on Twitter and they are big nobodies no matter where they go. And that and they, and then for everybody else who watches the show, if you're an artist or you know artists, I encourage you to go out and do we're gonna talk about these comments in a minute. Do fan art of the original Shira and place it all over Twitter. Just go do fan art of Remista especially and put it all over Twitter from the original show. Just go and do that for me, please. Um, yeah, so in, in, her, in response to her, um, her art, these are some of the comments that were shared uh, up was, uh, why stick with the original designs where everyone looks the same? Why stick with the new designs where you made everybody ugly? Um, she really, you know, then they're like, but help, bro, I can't have SH anymore. We have White Watch Catra and Perfuma because they were white in the original. And if this is this is gonna make you have cry emojis. I suggest strongly you call for help. Oh my god! Uh, we assemble with our pitchforks and roll pins slandered to my Desi Queen oh. again. Nobody cares. And look, there's hardly any interaction on these no, posts we anyway. Get, we get these people, and I don't know where they come from, and I wonder if if they're not a lot of the same person. But they always have the random Shira avatars. As soon as I see a Catra avatar, I'm like, ah, shit. Here so they come. The more I look at it, the funnier it gets. Oh my God, that's exactly what I thought about the new show. <laughs> We're on the same page here. And then they always, the other argument is when they can't win, it's always, <laughs> it was just made to sell toys. 
Well, you know what? They had that over you because you tried to sell toys in a new show and no one bought them because nobody watched a new show. Nobody, nobody cared. Nobody cared. Nobody cared. Actually, that you never hear the ratings for the show. They never post that. Want to know why? You know, because you people still know the original. They don't give two flying f's about the new show. They do. Only Twitter does. Yep, that's it. Twitter and Tumblr. You know what? You're allowed to like it. Yeah, I have. I have never told people they couldn't like the show. No. People say like the show. I'm like, that's cool. You know, you're allowed to like it. I respect that. But for whatever reason, people are not allowed to not like the show. Because it's it's validation. Uh, because they have to question, like, why doesn't everybody like what I like? And we're talking about people that, uh, y you know, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out, too. I'm trying to figure out the psychology of deranged cartoon But fandom. you can't figure out psychology of deranged people. Yeah, I just, I mean, I've been trying for years because I've seen it. And I've seen, like, they, they are the most abusive to the people that they think are you know, supposed to be representing them. Like I said, Steven Universe, they were they were driving Ooh. people off the show. Other people point out this, which I agree with 100%. For people who go on about acceptance and diversity and how you need to be accepting of people, they sure as hell aren't accepting of a lot of people. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's it's just, it's, it's a mess. And Mattel, I don't even know what's... Well, okay, so are they going to have a fit because Mattel's not bringing any new... Uh, Netflix Shira toys out. They're bringing classic Princess of Power out. Right, this year classic he Masters of the Universe. Because it um, sells. Right, and it's also 35th anniversary of the right. show. But, you know, she was the star for 33 years before they changed it. But the last two years should erase everything because Twitter says so. Or, or they're, they're, they're legitimately the stupid. They have no idea that there was a Shira show before this one. I, that's I also possible. That's, I think that's possible. I really do. And and the media is, you know, brainwashed these people into thinking that uh, it was just a toy commercial. That's But that's not just because of the toy commercial doesn't mean that it, it wasn't done well. They brought the entire teams in to write the entire thing to make sure it was more than just a toy commercial. And not only was it really popular more than just a toy commercial, it actually succeeded in selling toys. It actually made money. It actually got, you know, it got going on for quite a while and had way more episodes than the new show did. It did. And uh, a lot of women worked on She-Ra. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people that weren't straight worked on She-Ra. Uh, yeah, the producer was a uh, gay woman. Uh, and they say there's no diversity. Uh, Madame Raz is not skinny. No, she's not. Um, we have she's a, not white either. We have she's characters, purple. right? We have characters that are uh, that are of different ethnicities. They are not all white. Uh, we have men on there, and, th and you know what? They didn't have to pussify men. Everybody knew Bo was gay, but he didn't act like, oh my god, this fit squad. Ah! You know, he was he was like tough ass because you know guys that are aren't straight can be more than just oh my god, queen. Ah, you that know, broke back mountain. You know, yeah, slay Broke. queen, slay. Brokeback Bo. How, stereotype, how stereotyping are you? I mean, all the, Frosta has ice powers. I know. Let's make her an Eskimo. I mean, but 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 it was the old show that was problematic and and um and racist and stereotyped. Uh, yeah, yeah. Keep telling yourself that. But I love how people mess with these people. Yeah. Um. So this was funny. This was very very funny. This is 4chan. This was a couple of years ago because, again, you know, Twitter, art Twitter, cartoon Twitter is hypersensitive to uh, what they consider to be race swapping or, or blackface or whatever of their beloved cartoon characters. You can't even draw yourself with a little bit of a tan without them accusing you right. of literal blackface. You can't uh, draw Pokemon characters slightly lighter skinned than they appear in some media without them accusing you of whitewashing characters. So 4chan's like, fine. Fine, we're going to take Steven Universe and we're going to race swap every gonna, character. Well, not just that, they made him skinny. They, they made, made characters sk skinny that shouldn't have been skinny and stuff like that. Just to, just to you know, to mess with people. <laughs> and, and oh my God, this screeching. It was, it was so classic. There's a video uh, out there. Go out and find this video where they have all the comments and all the tweets and everything. Uh, Tumblr, Tum it was on Tumblr originally because... All the, all the crazy, crazy cartoon people that are on Twitter, they came from Tumblr. Mm -hmm. They all migrated from Tumblr. Once they took the porn away from Tumblr, they all came over to Twitter. And now they're bringing all their... Uh, baggage with them. Mental baggage with them, yes. Uh, so, yeah, this was uh, uh, quite the troll. Now, this was a deliberate trolling, obviously. But other people do this by accident. And yeah, they get, and there wasn't... But there's a difference here. Here's a difference. This was a troll because they were deliberately changing the characters to prove a point. Right. And the fact we're talking about right now, 
she was very clear she was drawing fan art of the original characters. They look like her interpretation of the original characters. In her case, she was just sharing her art and she did a good job. And she was just, you know, sharing her love of She-Ra and saying, hey, I redesigned some characters. What do you think? But she kept them the way they were originally. She changed, she didn't, you know, make them Eskimo or, you know, fat for no reason or whatever. She, she, you know, drew them as they would be. And they had a, so it's not the same thing as like the 4chan thing because that was deliberate troll. That was deliberate troll. This was not. No. This was, this was, you know, just someone putting their art up and it's of the original, the real She-Ra. The one oh. that's, I don't care. It's been around for 35 years. It's going to continue on. It um, is. People it is. like me kept it around for 35 years just so you can go and take it and take a dump on it now and then tell everybody else that they don't like it. There's something wrong with them. Meanwhile, you're the ones acting like mental cases, berating a child for drawing fan or a minor. I don't know how old she is, but she seems like she's younger. Berating a, a minor because she didn't do art the way you wanted it done. Good job. You're such big people. Oh, congratulations. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Go stay in the corner. You're acting like you're three. So, okay. Now, here, I, I really control these people. So, if I put big boobs, hot Shira manga art up, mm -hmm. just all these, all these women, we're going to make them so hot, so scantily clad, but I'm going to stick to the original You designs. can't do that because you're a guy. I can do anything I want. Okay. I can do anything I want. That, oh my God, they would, their brains would explode. Well, that's why I'm telling everybody, if you're an artist or you know an artist, please, please, for this other young artist, draw fan art, you know, of, of the original She-Ra or fan art of her art and share it on Twitter, uh, especially if it's Mermista and Perfuma, because that seems to really piss them off for whatever reason. Hot she would totally piss them off. So by all means, please, everybody flood Twitter with fan art of the original show. Do that. Do that. Use the she hashtag, uh, uh, tag in It's Mad Diet, and uh, show some support for her. I think I think she needs it. Twitter is a shit show. And, uh, you know, they're going to have to they're going to have to be more accepting. Right. If you're supposed to accept them, which I have been more than nice about, like if anybody tells me I like the show, I'm always like, OK, you're allowed to. Yeah. That's fine. You're allowed to like it better. You're allowed to. I've said that if you've watched my videos, I've always said that you're allowed to like it, but you are allowed to not like it as well. And that is valid and OK. And I'm tired of this. You have to agree with them or they completely walk over you or call you names or whatever. Well, the one who's behaving like a bunch of bullying children is or not is not this artist. Yeah, it's not like me. It's not the original fans. And we're not the ones behaving like big, giant, you know, childish bullies who, you know, who go on about acceptance and, and diversity as they refuse to accept other people. Yeah, and this is again. I, you know, we're not surprised. We've seen this a hundred times before. Uh, you know, there are really rabid fan bases of some of these cartoon shows. They have the Tumblr audiences, and this cartoon was designed by Tumblr for, for Tumblr, Tumblr, which is and, why it doesn't have many viewers. And it's why you get these kinds of people harassing uh, young artists. So yeah, show her some support. Absolutely, I think she did a, a good job. She did do a good job. And I'm and as a mom and a teacher, an art teacher, I sure as hell am not going to sit here and let people get harassed because they didn't they didn't do it the way another person wanted. And especially when the people said, you know, they were worried about our mental health and they were wishing harm on this person. Yeah, that's completely inexcusable. Uh, if you go back to the, yeah, they said, you know, I hope that you know, congratulations. Well, congrats to your fandom. You just harassed Cyberboy and Minor, who was drawing a redesign based on the original designs of the reboot of Perfume and Marissa. Hope to God the artist is OK. Well, I hope the artist is not OK. They actually said that. Yeah, that's uh, that's trash. So, you know what? Uh, back her up, follow her, you know, um, people should be alive and again you know people can post whatever they want to post but twitter for some reason they they freaking watch every damn thing any person posts and if it if it deviates at all from what they think it should be uh you're gonna hear you know, they only win if you let them yeah that, that's it Th they have no power if you don't care or don't give it to them well even like babs tar when she was accused of of black facing her her tan character she canceled herself. They had no power to cancel. She's working on freaking Batgirl. She's doing stuff for DC. They had no power over her, but she she caved to these people. You never, ever caved to these people because at the end of the day, uh, they really don't matter. No. They really don't. So, gonna wrap it up? Yep, please do. Okay, so we're gonna wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.